Hi everyone, I've just finished up another project using the Tim Holtz Texture Fades. This time I used the Patchwork Fade, which is this one here. And I've created another tag, and this is the finished tag. And I'll just take you through how I created this. The back piece there is... Um, a piece of black cardstock and I used to create the edge at the top there one of the um, on the edge dies which is the ornate don't think you'll be able to see that no nope. um, but it creates the top effect there and then this is obviously the piece that was embossed um, with the texture fade and it started out as white cardstock and I used stays on inks to colour it so I used the Blazing Red, I also used the um, Sunflower Yellow and the final one I used was the Azure Blue and that was just basically sponged on, blended in places then um, after that I got a black ink pad and I used my Archival Black and went over the raised areas so obviously they picked up all the, the black ink and you could still see the colour um, in the debossed areas and the next thing I did was to take um, enamel accents this is a relatively new pro uh, product by Ranger and it comes two in a pack, one of them's white and one of them is black and it works just the same way as the glossy accents so what I did was to highlight um, the little borders with dots all the way around and it is raised and it is shiny um, and I also cut some additional pieces out so I embossed a second folder and this piece here I don't know whether you can see the shine on that or not um, on that one there so the white on those areas and on the little birds I did some birds at the top and across here and um, they use the enamel accents so these two pieces were put onto 3d foam and then there was some parts here that I used um, some stickles on the black diamond stickles so just randomly little areas in each of the squares um, had a little bit of the stickles on and then I took some Maya Road um, chip pieces which are the gears and that's the the pack of them there and I painted them with black acrylic to begin with and then put glossy accents over them and then I also put some glossy accents around the border of this piece which you can see that shining there and again on here and then finally used my crocodile to punch a hole at the top and added some fibres that went with the colours so I was quite pleased with how that came out it's a project I've had in my head for a while um, I also thought about cutting it up and using these as individual tiles on a, another project and maybe putting glossy accents over the whole lot or ultra thick anyway that's what I did for today um, hope you like it please leave me a comment if you've got any questions and thanks for watching bye